Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max in the black and the blue. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. Today we have the new iPhone unboxing. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask that you consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time we upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So yes, hello, I got the iPhone 15 Pro Maxes. I have the black one here and the blue one, well, blue and black, I wanna say. This one is mine, this one's my husband's. I did the same thing last year where I unboxed the 14 Pro Max. You guys seem to like it a lot, so really thank you for that. And then I'll do a little comparison between my old 14 and kind of go over some of like the new specs that are gonna be on the new phones. Now, I won't be able to go over everything just because this is not a tech channel. I'm definitely more of like a fashion handbag channel so I'll leave it to like the actual tech channels to go over like the ins and outs so you have of course Marquez Brownlee you have I Justine you have Crystal Laura I really like her a lot you have everyday dad you have your average consumer there's so many tech channels out there for you to go and watch and I'll be sure to leave them in the description so you can go check them out but for this humble page, I do still love to do these unboxings. So let's go ahead and move angle, do the unboxing, and then I'll come back to you as soon as I get the phone set up and we'll go from there. All right, everyone, here we are. We have our new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I had to change camera angles, so I'm a little bit off to the side when it comes to the audio. Here we go. I got the black one in the 256 gigabyte. Wow, oh my goodness. Look at that. It's like matte. Wow. lens can you see the difference my goodness okay so setting that aside inside the box we finally have a USB-C cable instead of the lightning cable I for one I'm really stoked about the USB-C now I basically have a cable to fit all of my devices so I don't have to worry about a different cable. So this is great. And then we have just the regular stuff here, designed by Apple. No longer physical SIM. I think it was like that last year. One Apple sticker and that's about it. So moving over to the phone here, it's beautiful. I don't know what I was expecting. I honestly kind of wanted to get the natural color this time around, but I just did not know what it looked like in real life. And every video that I would see about it from all the tech YouTubers, it looked just silver. And I did not want a silver phone. It is very light. Here is the brand new action button that we have right above the volume button. And then this camera right here, it's so cool. Like I can't really explain it, but before I turn it on, I wanted just to compare from last year's phone. So this is the 14 Pro Max, this is the 15 Pro Max. I wish they would have had a gold this year, I really do, but alas, they did not. You can really tell a difference in the weight. I was wondering if you would actually be able to tell. You can definitely tell a difference. It's not a lot, like it's not drastic, but I can definitely tell a difference in the weight between the titanium and the stainless steel versions. Looking at the side, my gold one is super dirty, so please don't judge me. But here is what the side differences look like. All right, let's go ahead and peel this off. Oh, wow, oh my goodness. It's so shiny. I love the matte edges. Now, one thing that I'm already noticing with these darker phones is that fingerprints are going to be really, really, really hard to hide on these darker models. So I would recommend probably putting case on it. I already have the case. 
that I'm gonna be using. Here is the case that I got for this phone. This is from a brand called The Daily Edited, and I got it customized. It says my name, and then I got a little coffee cup right there because you guys know how much I love coffee, and I think it would just look really, really nice. I also was just kind of in the vibe for a dark phone this year, so that's also one of the reasons why I went with the black. And then I did get a black Octobuddy just to have it. I've been obsessed with the Octobuddies recently, so I wanted to get another one of these just to complete the whole package. So, you guys, without any further ado, I'm gonna go set this up. Let me just turn it on. Here we go. You see it? She says hello, and I can just kind of swipe up to get, ooh, let me actually check the bezel difference. Yeah, oh my God, you actually can tell a difference in the bezel. Look, hopefully you can see this, but you can actually tell a difference in the bezel. Wow. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna go turn this on really quick and get everything set up and then I'll come back and show you some new features. While my new phone is setting up, I thought that I would have my husband come on here and unbox his. He got the blue one so you guys can see another colorway. So here we go. And this will be an up, a pretty good upgrade for you because you haven't gotten a new one since the 13, right? I know, I know, that's a big deal. Look at that, wow. But look, so now you can see mine's the black one and then his is the blue one. This is gorgeous. You like it? I love it. You'll definitely be able to tell a difference in the weight, I think. Oh yeah, it weighs nothing. And you have a USB-C. See. Isn't it great? Yeah, Can yeah, I yeah, see I it? Wait. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because it'll activate Take on Take all the its pictures own. you want and stuff, but it's great. Just, it's so here's good. the side. These are beautiful. Mine's doing an update right now. Yeah. Okay, I thought that'd be also nice to show a different colorway. Okay. Okay, welcome back. How did you like the unboxing? I hope that you loved it. My husband's so cute. He didn't really want to be on camera, <laughs> but I was like, no, it's okay. You're just gonna use your hands. Your your face and stuff doesn't have to be on camera. And then he was like, okay. He loves, 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 loves the blue color. He's so obsessed with it and I'm happy for him too. I like the black. So here's my black one. I do like it. I like it a lot. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to like return it or exchange it or anything because I do love the black. I was kind of in the mood for a black iPhone this year anyway, so that's totally fine. I just wish that the natural color was actually the color that it looked like on the website. Like I actually did go to Verizon that same day when I did the unboxing. I went right after filming that just to see the natural color in person. And yeah, it is silver. It is a nice color though. So if you are into like the silver tone colors, it's like on the sides, it's like straight up just regular brushed silver. But on the back, it kind of has like this slate gray silver vibe it's not the same color that it is on the sides which i actually quite like and i understand why a lot of people are really loving that new color for this year but i don't know i just kind of wanted to get the black i'm not a silver girly like i'm a gold girly all the way all of my stuff that i have is gold so if they would have come out with a gold phone this year i would have jumped on it so fast but talking over a tiny little bit on the features the camera on this phone is literally insane it is insane i'll put a clip in right now showing the camera so here is the camera i'm actually using my viewfinder and my camera to make sure that i'm in frame on this camera on the iphone camera and i feel like i'm in frame Hopefully, but yeah, this is the camera I'm recording at 4K 30, and I think it's amazing. There's no flash right now because I'm still using my ring light. The camera quality is just insane this year. I love it. And then you, of course, have that 5X zoom feature. I'll show you that. It's probably a little bit light because the ring light that I have right here is currently on, but you have that 5X zoom which is super cool. And then I actually have used a couple of times the feature that you can turn a regular photo into a portrait photo in the edit phase. Like after you take the picture, you can go in, 
press the little FX button or the FN button, I forgot which one it is, but you press that little button and then it will ask you non-portrait or portrait and I've chosen portrait and it's so cool. It literally just turns the picture into a portrait photo. It's so cool. And then we have the action button. I don't really care that much about the action button. It's cool, but I still have it set to, to silence the phone or to unsilence the phone because that's what I used this button up here for anyways. That one right there, that is our new little action button. But you can program it to do pretty much whatever you want. But I actually like having it be a button than be a switch. Is that weird? Like sometimes with the switch, I would forget which way it is and I would have to just fiddle around with it a tiny bit. But this one, you just press the button. You hold it down. So now it's on ring. Now it's on silent. I actually much prefer having the button because it's a long press, you can't accidentally click it. So yeah, I like that action button, but it's still remaining the silence, unsilence feature for me because I already have a shortcut for the camera app and I already have a shortcut for the flashlight. So I don't really need anything else. I mean, I could make it a shortcut for Instagram, but like, what? No. All in all, the uh, cameras are great. I did hear some horror stories that people, especially getting the white color or the natural color, are having to wait until like mid-October, November to get their phones, which is absolutely insane. Like people saying that they woke up early for the Apple presale and they're still, they didn't get there early enough, I guess. Like I guess you really had to wake up at 5 a.m. to get your phone on the 22nd, but I know a lot of people are having some issues with that. So I, if you are one of those people, my heart goes out to you, but hey, at least you'll have the phone that you want. Cause I know a lot of people had to like settle and get a phone that they didn't really want. Like I saw a few tech YouTubers on TikTok or on Twitter, Instagram, I forget where, but they were like, I wanted the natural color, but I settled for blue. I wanted the, a white color, but I settled for black, but at least you didn't have to settle. Like at least you're gonna get the phone that you really wanted, right? And like, you never know, maybe you could always go to an Apple store or your carrier, Verizon, AT&T, whatever, and just check to see if they have the phone that you want there. And then when your other one comes in, you can just send it back. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you upgraded this year to an iPhone 15, 15 Pro or Pro Max. I do love that pink color on the 15, regular 15. It was super cute. I'm glad they finally came out with a pink. But let me know in the comments what you think of the iPhone 15s and 15 Pros. And just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys I'll see you in the next video bye